And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize a clutch purse like this one with just a couple of supplies from the hardware store. For this project, you'll need a clutch purse, a screwdriver, brass letters, I suggest calling your hardware store ahead of time to check if they have them or get them online, some short bolts that fit your letters. I made sure that these were just long enough to fit through the clutch but not so long that they're taking up extra space inside of it, and some acorn nuts. Check at the hardware store to make sure these fit the bolts that you purchased, otherwise it won't work. Position your letters where you want them on the outside of the clutch, and I recommend starting with the letter in the very center of your word, and use the screw that came with your brass letter to mark some holes on the outside of your clutch where you're going to punch through the fabric. I left this little protective layer on the inside of the clutch, then use the screw to drill the holes through the outside of your clutch, being careful that you're not going to drill into anything on the inside of the clutch, and I recommend just sticking a finger in there to make sure you're not drilling through any excess layers on the inside. Once you've punched those holes completely through both layers of the fabric, begin adding your bolts. You'll want to apply firm pressure with a finger on the inside of the clutch to help it drill through all the layers of the fabric. Once it's gone through all of the fabric, add one of your acorn nuts on the inside, and then holding the nut in place, continue drilling the bolt through on the outside of your clutch. And then do the exact same thing with the other bolt on your letter. Make sure you're not over tightening them, but they do have to be tightened enough into the acorn nut that they're not going to fall off. Then repeat all of these same steps with all of your other layers, being careful not to mess up the inside of your clutch, and then when you're done with all of those, go through and re-tighten everything to make sure nothing's going to fall off. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my channel for other fun DIY projects.